we're gonna find that we need to know where the peak spool up range is on our turbocharger. So if we have a relatively large turbocharger fitted to our engine, and we might have something with really late spool, something like 5,000 RPMs. So at 5,000 RPMs, the turbocharger is building its peak boost that we wanna run it, let's just say 18 PSI. Now, the stock engine might have had peak torque something like 6,000 or 5,500 RPM. Uh, so it might be in right around the same range, but in this particular case, the turbocharger is building its full boost at 5,000 RPM. So that's gonna be where it's gonna be producing the maximum amount of torque. This is the point where we need to really focus in our ignition timing table and reduce our spark timing there because on the naturally aspirated engine, we found at our peak torque on the natu naturally aspirated uh, a portion of the table, we found that we had to reduce our spark timing because it had the greatest likelihood of knock or pre-ignition to occur. And the same thing is gonna apply here on a turbocharge engine. Now that peak, uh, the peak volumetric efficiency or the peak torque is gonna to occur uh, maybe slightly different on this force induction because we're really usually utilizing the turbocharger's uh, spool characteristics. So if we have a really small turbocharger, it might occur something like 3000. We have a really big turbocharger, it might occur at something like 6,000 RPM. So there's gonna be a spread of where this peak boost and the peak torque is gonna to occur. And our timing map is gonna to have to reflect this. So we're gonna go in after we do our first baseline pull with our very conservative ignition timing map. We're gonna figure out wherever that peak boost is gonna be. And we're gonna reduce our ignition timing at that point. Below that point, we're not so concerned with it. And above that point, we can definitely put a little bit more ignition timing in, but at that peak torque and peak boost point, we're gonna to have to pull some spark timing. Now that's gonna help with the knocker pre-ignition as well as keep the engine reliable long-term. So any engine, whether it's a V8 or a four-cylinder, we're gonna to have to apply this same technique of wherever the peak uh, spool up is, the peak boost, it's gonna be our peak torque, and that's gonna be the lowest point where we should have our spark timing in the table. 